Hey everybody, I'm back. I'm only going to make a video while I'm commuting and I'm off the busy commute so please don't freak out on me. I'm not holding the phone, I'm driving. But I figure I can talk while I'm driving even when I'm by myself which I do all the time. But I figure if I have, I have the opportunity to do that I can record it. So I set up the recording and I wanted to tell you that I've hit day 40 of my disconnect challenge and I have learned a lot. A lot about myself, a lot about my family, and a lot about people in general. So day 40 of the Disconnect Challenge is basically um, a milestone of a challenge that I set up with a friend of mine. And I know it seems kind of like it's something that would be anti-productive to any kind of YouTube channel which I'm posting this on, but you know what? I don't care. My YouTube channel is not for anybody to really be impressed with. It's for me and me alone. It's my therapy. And so the disconnect challenge is basically where you come to realize how dependent you are on your cell phone. The point of this challenge was to basically get rid of the cell phone, the, the smartphone, and either go back to a landline only something without internet connection or a, a touch screen and I did for a while I did for a while in fact I disconnected from all the YouTubes the chats the SMS messengers I disconnected from all that and unfortunately I had been to start a new job which was a blessing it's actually a big blessing but in order to do this job, I actually had to have a smartphone because we had group texts that we put out messages for and dispatching. So instead of getting back on the iPhone, which I was leasing from Sprint, instead of paying that lease payment, I actually um, I returned the Sprint iPhone and I'm not paying that lease anymore. I happen to have an old Samsung a Galaxy S8 that I owned because I had already paid that off. Thank you Sprint for taking all my money. But anyways, I used that phone but I set some ground rules. Ground rules are I only use the smartphone when I am at work. And when I get home, it goes on the charger, the power goes off completely. I'm going to hold the phone here because I'm going up this hill and it might fall. But the rule is when I get home, I put this phone on the charger and I turn it off completely. I leave it in the gym. It's never by my bedside. It's never in sight. I almost wanted to leave it out in the garage, but it's been snowing and my garage leaks a little bit. So um, just to be safe, we leave it in the gym. And I don't turn it on. I don't even look at it until I get to work the next day because I need it to clock in as well. On the weekend, leave it off. Leave it in the gym. Don't touch it. All last weekend was the first weekend I went the entire weekend without looking at this goddamn phone. And I did check it once or twice in the morning on Saturday and Sunday, but in all fairness, I checked it because I did have a talk with my boss on Friday and he did say he wanted me to make sure I was checking it um, in case we get any cases that belong to us. So I did check it. I cheated for about five minutes, but you know what? We went out in the weekend. The point of my story is the challenge taught me this. You don't realize how small your world is when you're staring at your phone all day long. You don't realize how addicted you are to your phone. Even if you think that you're not addicted and that your world is not limited to what you're looking at on the screen, I want you to remember something. Turn your phone off for about two hours and leave it out of sight, out of mind. I guarantee that it might be out of sight, but it's not going to be out of your mind. You will go crazy trying to think, you'll be thinking about What's so-and-so saying on this? Did I get any messages? I wonder if I got emails. You might even be tempted to go on your laptop or your PC 
and check your email messages. Just email. That's just email. My phone's bouncing around a little bit because I just went over a guardrail. But the point is, I did that. I sat there fawning over what was what I was missing, what was being said, what was happening. And it's pathetic because I wasn't paying attention to my son. I wasn't spending more time with my husband. I wasn't I wasn't doing the things that I actually enjoyed doing. My world was limited to this five inch by two and a half inch screen and what other people were doing across the world. When I had people that I love here and things that I love doing here, I have macrame work and, and stuff that I enjoy doing and I was totally ignorant to my own hobbies, my own life. I have a life. I have pets. I have a great life. And I was taking it all for granted because all I cared about was what was happening on this little phone and the rest of the world. See, my phone don't even want to look at me, but I'm almost home, so this rant is almost over. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you think that the world revolves around chat messages, emails, YouTube, um, freaking Etsy, eBay, Amazon, yeah, I did it all, then you are missing out on the most wonderful thing that you have. And by the time you realize it, you're going to lose it. I learned so much about my son this weekend. I have to admit, he I, I was impressed that he actually left his cell phone home when we went on an all-day trip to Tahoe. And that kid would not shut up. He kept talking and talking. And my son had a lot. And you know what? The, the coolest thing was, I realized how much my son was like me. He said things the way I taught this kid how to say things that I was a little bit worried about. But he's a smart boy. And I, I just fell in love with my son all over again. I fell in love with my husband all over again. And... I was proud of myself all over again. Everything I could have accomplished in life boils down to these two boys and what we have and our love and our family. And <laughs> it put a lot of things into perspective. I, it really made me realize what real love is, what real family is. And for those of you out there that think I'm crazy, I don't really care because the most important thing is what's not what I'm saying on this YouTube channel or the internet or anything like that. It's at this house that I'm about to pull into, have a real dinner and a real conversation with because in about five minutes, I'm going to shut down this cell phone and you ain't going to hear or see from me until after 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. And even then, I'm going to be too busy working a real job, helping people, real families, to even care. So, I hope you all try to at least challenge yourself to do the same thing. Get connected with real life and real people and real love. This internet world has got to go. Stay salty, everybody. <laughs>